With the release of uh, Modo 601 Service Pack 1, you'll notice that there's a couple of new uh, preset assemblies, which are softbox freestanding assembly and a softbox target assembly. So you locate these uh, by opening your presets and just going to assemblies, and here they are. This is the first one, this is the second one. Uh, so the one with the target is probably the most useful one, so I'll just quickly demonstrate how it works. If you double click, it will load the uh, assembly into your scene and there's a number of controls you have to um, modify the assembly so if you click on the base it activates the move tool and you can move the base around to locate it and you'll notice that uh, with the target assembly it's always going to point at the target um, now there's a, a sort of frame drawn around the softbox itself if you click on this it brings up the scale tool now I suggest you use this in uh, the local action center mode so if you hit out X that will put it into local action center and you can then scale the softbox to any size you like or click on the middle one to scale it uniformly um, drop that and finally you can see that there's this little locator here called light controls if you click on that it brings up uh, a set of sliders where you can control a few different things so there's the light intensity so let's whack that right up there's the light height which will move it up and down as if it were on a virtual tripod visible to camera let's uh, click that so that we can see it in preview and finally you've got the light hardness so this is the default it's sort of soft but you can drag it all the way to the right to make it really hard sort of really hard sharp reflection or drag it further to the left to make it even softer so to demonstrate how it works I've created a very simple studio scene just a uh, sphere on a floor and I'm going to double click the assembly to load it into the scene and uh, use the controls to place it so let's click on the base just move it around so it's to the front and then drop that, click on the frame, let's make it bigger, a lot bigger and then finally click on the controls, we can raise the height of the light and let's increase the intensity, make it a lot bigger so with that done I probably want to do a bit more fine tuning so uh, let's just move it a touch, maybe increase the size again let's try a non-uniform this time and decrease the intensity a smidge and finally let's uh, drop another one into the scene and use it as a sort of a little backlight a rim light just to catch to create a highlight on the other side of the sphere quickly bring that up and you can see very quickly we are, we're creating some pretty nice uh, studio type lighting. Now because the, uh, the light has some sort of softness uh, built into it, you can see that the quality of the reflection is, is really nice. It's much more realistic than just a simple card because there's a bit of fall off towards the edges. So that really does make it look like a real softbox. Now if you uh, use the light controls to change the light hardness, it will uh, change the quality of this softness. I mean, it also uh, alters the brightness of the light, um, so you have to sort of compensate the other way. But even with the, with the hardness uh, all the way up, it's still a pretty realistic looking softbox, but you can really change the quality of the reflections by changing the hardness. So if we go all the way to the left and make it really soft, then bring it back up, it's just got a slightly different quality about it. Um, but it is, it is very realistic and, and it provides much more interesting reflections than just using uh, HDRs or maybe um, just cards to or, or simple polygons to create your your softbox effect. The other thing about it is as long as you keep the light sources large, as in you create large softboxes, because they're using the GI, these only work with GI on, uh, they render pretty quickly. Um, so that's another thing to bear in mind. With large light sources, GI works really well. So if you're using big softboxes for your studio setups, and I use these for studio type setups and also for lighting characters and that sort of thing, um, you will get really nice results with this. So I um, hope you found this helpful and thank you very much for watching.